After you've pre-processed and set up a model for a single subject, you'll need to do the same steps for all of the subjects in your data set. This may seem tedious, but doable. We have only 26 subjects and only two runs per subject. An alternative, however, is to script your analysis. Just as an actor has a script which tells him what to say, where to stand, and where to move, so you can write a script that tells your computer how to analyze your data sets. This has the double benefit of automating your analyses and being able to analyze data sets of any size. The code for analyzing two subjects, or 200, is virtually identical. First, we will create a template that contains the code needed to analyze a single subject, and then we will use a for loop to automate that analysis for all of the subjects. To begin, from the SPM GUI, click on the Batch button. This opens the Batch Editor window, which we can fill with multiple preprocessing modules. From the top of the Batch Editor window, select the following modules in this order. This will execute all of the pre-processing steps from realignment to smoothing to model estimation. Although I'm speeding this up, the full list of modules can be found in the book chapter link down below. You will now need to fill in each of the required fields, just like we did in the previous chapters. Remember that you'll need to use the MATLAB terminal to create a folder called First Level for the first level results. At this point, you may wonder what you're supposed to input for a later preprocessing step if the required data hasn't been created yet. We use the module named file selector to assign a label to each run of functional data. Then we use what are called dependencies to indicate that the input for the current step is the output of the previous step. For example, in the realign module for the first session, if you click the dependency button, you can select the option named file selector, run one, run two files, and likewise for the second session. The file set split module is used to take a group of files that have been processed altogether, such as during the smoothing step, and split them into two separate groups for the model specification module. For the contrast module, we select the Replicate and Scale option. This will replicate the contrast weights across all of the sessions for that subject and scale them in inverse proportion to the number of sessions. In this example, since there are two sessions, each contrast weight will be scaled to 0.5 and negative 0.5. The rest of the fields will be filled in just as we did in the previous chapters. The only difference will be specifying the input as a dependency from a previous step. Click on the link to the book chapter below to see details about how to fill in each field. The batch module we just created is specific to sub-01. We have used sub-01's images and timing files, and the results will only apply to sub-01. If you clicked on the green Go button, it would run all of the pre-processing and model estimation steps in one go. With a few adjustments, however, we can adapt this module to all of the other subjects in our study. First, we need to save the modules into a MATLAB script. Click on File, Save Batch and Script, and label the file Run Preproc Template. Save it to the Flanker directory that contains all of your subjects. This will create a MATLAB script file that you can open in the MATLAB window by navigating to the Flanker directory and typing open run preproc underscore template underscore job. To adapt this file so that it can analyze any subject on any machine, we will need to make the following edits. Replace the number 01 with a variable containing a different subject number for each instance of a for loop, and replace the username, in this case Aeon, with a variable pointing to the username of whichever machine is currently being used. This will allow us to use a for loop to analyze all of our subjects. I've already created a template script, which you can download from github.com slash andrewyan. Click on the SPM scripts repository, and then click on run preproc first level underscore job. Click on raw, right click anywhere in the screen, and save the file to the Flanker directory, making sure to remove the .txt extension. 
we will compare this script with the changes you will need to make in the template script you just created. First, we create a for loop that is initialized with a subject variable. This means that this new variable, subject, will use the value of each consecutive entry in the array subjects. In other words, the first instance of the loop will assign the value 01 to subject. The second loop will assign the value 02, and so on. We then use the subject variable and the user variable whenever we need to specify a path to the data. For example, the conditional statements look for whether the unzipped functional and anatomical files exist, and if they don't, the files are unzipped using MATLAB's gunzip command. Each time, we use brackets to horizontally concatenate strings with variables. A line of code like this one will concatenate the strings surrounded by single apostrophes with the variables. If the variable user contains the value ayan and the variable subject contains the value 01, then the above code would expand to the following. By flipping back and forth between the script you generated and the one that you downloaded from GitHub, you can see that you need to replace each instance of 01 with the word subject and each instance of ayan or whatever your username is, with the word user. The last part of the script we have to edit is the onset times. In this experiment, each subject had different onset times for each condition. If you already used the script in the previous chapters to convert the timing files, then you can create a variable that contains the timing information and insert it into the onset fields in the stats module. For example, the following code found around line 107 of the MATLAB script you generated can be changed from this, which contains onset times specific to sub 01, to this, in which the variable data incongruent run one stores the onset times for the subject in the current loop, and then enters those numbers into the onset field. The code colon comma one indicates that only the first column of the variable should be read, which contains the onset times. When you have finished editing your script, or if you want to just use the one from GitHub, make sure to change the subjects variable to only analyze 01 and 02, since we'll be checking whether it works on a sample of the subjects before running it on everyone. You can then execute the script by typing its name. If you're using the GitHub script, for example, you would type run preproc first level job. You will then see windows pop up as each preprocessing and statistical module is run, similar to what you would see if you executed each module manually through the GUI. In the next video, we'll check the output to make sure it ran successfully.